Well, welcome back to A Bus and Beyond. And in this video, we are taking a look at the Imperial Sports Home Crafter Base van conversion. Let's check it out. This video is sponsored by Squarespace, but more on that later. How cool is that? It's like a cement mixer, but for paper. <laughs> so this VW Crafter is made by Imperial Sports Home. They're based in Lincolnshire in the UK. Now they take any van of your choice and convert it into a camper van or a race van like this one is. This one is a two litre turbo diesel mated to a six speed manual gearbox. This particular vehicle has halogen lights fitted, not the LEDs, and it's finished in this black paint job. So working our way down the driver's side, this is fitted with 16 inch alloy wheels. On the driver's side, you only have the one door, you've got the driver's door, there's no cabin access, but you do have the electrical hookup point. And as we move further back, you also have the water inlet as well. I've noticed down below, you do also have the wastewater outlet. So that's where you empty the water when it's full. Not a huge amount to say on the back here, big, barn doors, no windows, and you'll see why later on. But let's take a look around the other side. So on the passenger side, right up at the top, you've got a real long wind-out awning. That's in black, which matches the black paintwork. You've also got privacy glass, uh, which again, you can't really see because it's um, a black van with black windows, but it's quite cool, it blends in nicely. And you've also got a sliding section as well that opens. You've got a huge sliding door, but before we take a look inside, Let's hear from this video sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one website design and web building tool that makes it so simple to build a website, even Bentley could do it. You can choose from loads of different website templates that you then customize to fit your own personal style and needs. For example, you can easily create interactive member areas, blogs, online shops, or just a place to connect your social media accounts. It's an amazing tool for whatever you want to create online. So head on over to squarespace.com and use code ABUS and beyond or use our link in the description below that will give you a free trial and 10% off any products that you choose to buy. Well, welcome to the compact but functional interior of this camper van. Now we'll start in the lounge space here. This has got a lovely little seating area, very nice curve to it. It's in quilted leather, which I like to see because that's nice and soft. You'll actually notice that there are three seat belted seats in this van and there are also three beds. Now I'd probably say it's more like two and a half beds because the bed at the front is actually probably more designed for younger teenagers or kids because it's not quite full length for an adult. And we'll speak about the other two berths in a bit when we move to the back. Now in this area, you've basically got everything that you will need for getting away and your race days. So there's a compact kitchen. There's also a microwave above my head here. Plenty of storage all around the cab area. Plus you've got lovely light windows either side. On the opening window on the door, you actually have a fly screen and then you've got blackout blinds in both of the windows here. You've also got a lovely sunroof above your head just to keep the temperature nice and cool and also it's always nice to have one above the kitchen area just to get rid of all the smells and the heat out of here. Now you'll also notice on the floor there is a hole that is for the table leg. Now there is a table that will fit in here that table is kept just behind the driver's seat. So let's actually have a look at what comes with the kitchen area. This is a Dometic hob. It's actually got two different size burners. You've also got a sink here with hot and cold water. When the top of the hob is down, you also have a bit more preparing space, but add to that, you also have a little table on the side of the kitchen, which you can open out and that gives you a little bit more space, even if you're using the hob. 
One feature that we found that we really like and we might be stealing for our own camper van conversion is the fact that when you open the drawers you have to just lift them a very slight bit because there's a little bit out of the drawer just to make sure it doesn't fall out at all times so you just lift the drawer a little bit and pull it out very clever idea very simple i really like to see that so there's plenty of storage here obviously the only downside is the fact that the ladder is in the way of some of the doors for the kitchen um, obviously if you put the ladder away put it on the bed whilst you're not using it then that problem has gone entirely underneath the hob and sink you have all of your gubbins for your heating your electric you've got the wabasto air blown heater that's a diesel heater we always like diesel heaters here they always work phenomenally you have the buttons to turn all your lights on and off the water all of that kind of thing the actual light switches for the lights are actually at the front of the van that can be a little bit inconvenient so having another one a little bit closer to the bed probably helps a little bit If you want to watch back your race day, you have a TV up here. Now you can also watch normal terrestrial television, although that might be less exciting than your race day videos. But there is a satellite dish on the top of this van, so you can watch your Game of Thrones, your Stranger Things, all of that jazz. There's plenty of sockets around. You've got a number of three pin plugs, plus some 12 volt sockets as well that you could always put in, USB converters, that kind of thing. I suspect that the three pin plugs are only usable when you're plugged in but the 12 volt ones can obviously be used off the leisure battery which of course there is a leisure battery on board. Across from the kitchen you have a very functional bathroom, it is quite small but then space is at a premium in a van like this when you've got so much interesting stuff in the back of it. So you've got a shower and toilet, the toilet is actually a flushable one which is quite nice. So there is a cassette toilet in here, it is a permanent cassette toilet so in order to remove the cartridge from it, it's not actually a outdoor accessible toilet you actually access it from the inside there's a door in here again you just have to move the ladder to get access to that there's a mirror in there there's a shower of course hot and cold water shower there's no sink in there so they're assuming that you're just going to use the kitchen sink again if space is a premium then that is what you do and there's a sliding door for your privacy one thing I should say about the bathroom as well is there is actually a light and a fan in there all in one unit. Now that's quite nice to see instead of putting a, another hole in the roof for a entire skylight they've just put a little fan and light unit in there. Now I will pass over to my handy cameraman who's already in the bed there so instead of us swapping spaces we'll just let him do it. So I'm in the bed, I climbed up the ladder and I'm in. As you can see, the bed is really, really high up. Uh, you'll see why when we look at the back. Just ahead of the bed, you've got a bit of storage. Put some clothes in there, I suppose. And then the same on this side, another bit of storage. So yeah, it's actually quite limited, but I suspect that's because this van is designed for track days. You know, you're not going away for weeks on end. It's too compact for that kind of trip. It's mainly just for track days. So put your race suit in there. Um, your balaclava, your racing gloves, all that kind of stuff. I'm actually sleeping the wrong way, I suspect. Oh, I suppose you could, you could be this way if you wanted, but it's full length. I am about five foot 11. Don't know what that is in centimeters, but I would, if it was me, I would sleep the other way and I'd dangle my feet over the, the edge here. The mattress, surprisingly, is comfy. There's no actual um, slatted base or springs or anything underneath, but the mattress is really thick. So it's, it's really comfy. You've got a skylight above, You've got LED lights at the back there. And I was trying to work out if there was a switch at the back here. Oh, there is? Yeah. So that you don't have to go all the way down the front there to turn the lights off at night. You've actually got a switch up on the roof so you can turn them on and off once you're in bed. If you are sleeping on this side, it's okay because you can dangle your feet over the edge. If you're on this side, because you've got the, um, the side of the actual toilet cabinet, uh, yeah, I, I personally wouldn't enjoy sleeping that side. Someone a little bit shorter, I'm sure would be fine, but uh, it's too narrow to sleep widthways, so you do have to sleep uh, lengthways. 
Now the whole roof is all carpeted in black. You've got black mattress. That's the general theme of this van. It's sort of black and gray, very sporty looking. Let's take a look what's beneath me. So there's a reason you buy a van like this and it's for your track day toys. It is enormous. So it's fully checker plate lined garage, great for storing motorbikes, mountain bikes, or you could even maybe tow your track day car and have all your spare tires and wheels and tools and all sorts in here is fully kitted out. You've got a, a mat that protects the rear bumper when you're getting things in and out. Look at the size of this. You've got a shelf at the back here, your gas bottle stored in there. You've got matting, uh, inside these shelves on the side here, they're over the wheel arches. Yeah, another bit here, you've got yeah, all sorts of bits of box. You've got lights, LED lights on both sides so you can see what is going on. There's even a three pin plug at the back, your light switch. At the front of the garage, you've got lashing points so you can tie down things, uh, mountain bikes, that kind of thing, or wheels. Now obviously, um, it's a big, big garage, but there are some very big motorbikes out there, so it's probably not big enough for your absolutely massive bikes, but maybe you tow your bikes and store all your, your tools in here, but it's a real nice big garage. This actual bit of bed is in two halves. Now this bit here is obviously the bed, that's why it's so high up. You've got your wind out awning handle there, but the mattress is actually split into two, so if you lift and put the mattress on top of each other, you can actually push this much further forward and store even more stuff in here. Now you, could, you wouldn't be able to sleep in the bed with it uh, like that, you'd have to take the stuff out and make the bed big again, but that's pretty good. You can see the, the roof light now. the end of this tour and please let us know in the comments what you think about it. It's retailing at the moment at £54,995 and you can buy it from Dolphin Motorhomes and we'd like to say a big thank you to for letting us fill their interesting van. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and there will be plenty more content coming in the future. Thanks very much for watching, see you soon!